But even with all of that fancy propaganda and the failure of the mainstream media to report about Fukushima, the devastating effects of that nuclear meltdown cannot be ignored. Even the president of the company that runs Fukushima is speaking out. TEPCO's president said that the triple meltdown following the earthquake and tsunami in Japan was a warning to the world. And the nuclear industry must be prepared for the worst. He said that despite what the nuclear industry and the public wanted to believe, nuclear power was not 100% safe. We have to explain, no matter how small a possibility, what if this barrier is broken? We have to prepare a plan if something happens. It's easy to say that, you know, almost nothing's perfect, so we don't have to worry about it, but we have to keep thinking, what if? And that's exactly true. What if? What if the hundreds of tons of nuclear waste that are dumping into the Pacific Ocean every day are killing five million birds off the coast of Australia or causing radiation and radioactive isotropes to be found in fish off the coast of California and Canada? And what if all those melting starfish are suffering from radiation? It's, it's not far-fetched to understand that radiation affects the nervous system, and starfish have a very primitive nervous system. But just like they told us that mercury in the vaccines is safe, now they're telling us that nuclear energy is also safe. Obama wants a new generation of nuclear power plants, but that doesn't mean clean nuclear power plants. No, it means just much of the same, because clean nuclear energy doesn't produce the weapons grade byproduct that is necessary for the military industrial complex to build their war machines. And there you have it.